She's been on television nationally for what she does. And what she's going to do today is bring to you messages from spirit. So please help me welcome Wanda Hall. I'm into a lot of proof. I want to 
prove that spirit is interacting with us, because we're all spirit too. We want to know that, that there is life after death and that we can help dispel that fear of death. And it's the natural process. It's the next step in our evolution. So if we start thinking like that, the fear tends to sort of drop away. The more we work with this kind of work, the more you understand it, the more that drops away. It doesn't make you, when you lose someone, miss them any less, you still miss their physical presence. But you do know that they're just a fall away or they're just right beside you. Because heaven's not some far off place, you know, in the clouds. We've been taught that in Christianity, a lot of us. But it's here, all around us. It's energy, and we're all part of that. And so uh, Spirit tells me oftentimes that, that they reach to people that try so hard to get through, and they just ignore them because they think it's their own thinking, you know? And, and sometimes Spirit will give you a little song in your head. Maybe it's a song you haven't heard in 30 years, you know? And suddenly it's blasting into your head and you go, why am I thinking of that song? The reason you're thinking of it is because someone's trying to get in touch with you. If you listen to it closely enough, you'll get the words of it. Or perhaps a movie, John, <coughs> all of a sudden. I call it out of left field. You weren't thinking about it. That spirit getting in touch with you. Our book falls off the shelf. Have you ever had that happen? Mm -hmm. Oh, right at your feet. I call it bookstore angels. <laughs> you know? <laughs> or book angels. Hey, just throw them at your feet and say, read this. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's all sorts of ways that your guides uh, instruct <laughs> you, and all sorts of ways they want you to know that they love you and they want you to grow. And so those guides sometimes, again, or have never been on the physical level, so don't expect them to look like human beings. I've seen some very strange looking ones. Did you have a question? Oh, okay. I saw one one time um, in a photograph of a student that I had, and it looked like peel back wallpaper. It looked like the wallpaper on the wall in the photograph was peeled back, and water was coming through. And I thought, well, maybe that was a stream or something. But about nine years later, she took a photograph of that her same cousin with her uh, daughter beside her, her cousin's daughter, and there that was again, that same look. So we knew it was a guy. I see that like kind of a heart shape with you know with colors behind them. These were caught in photographs, and so non-physical entities don't always look like a human being. Now, how many of you have woke up out of a dream? woke out of his sleep and had a spirit standing at the foot of your bed. Okay. But you were waking up and going to sleep, right? <clears throat> okay. That is is you getting into another dimension. They're not, they're standing there, and if you were wide awake, you wouldn't be able to see them. But since you're in an altered state of consciousness, that's what sleep or trance is. You're going down to a deeper or a higher level. And so when you're coming out of that, that's where you're going to see them. That's the easiest time at all. Okay? What about easy sleep like in a dream? Or what is in a dream? Absolutely. Uh, some people have loose, what we call lucid dreams, and others dream of their loved ones, and they definitely interact with you in your dreams and mm -hmm. messages. It's not that always you know exactly what they're trying to say to you, <laughs> but sometimes they're very funny to the, you know, the mother, the father, the grandparents, whoever that that relative might be might stand right in front of you and tell you exactly what they want. It depends on how good your reception is in the brain too and how you remember it. But is it to me, I've had dreams like this before, but they're different than regular dreams. Yes. Yes. People will come back with awareness that someone visited them for this visitation. Okay? And uh, they often tell me, we visited you in your dreams. So I know that they do that. Time and time again. So pay attention to your dreams. And if you don't remember them, then ask Spirit to help you remember them. It's just about as simple as that. And lots of people go a glass of water beside their bed. And in the morning, before uh, they get away, go they drink some water and they remember their dreams. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel great when you're subconscious to do that. Okay, hey, do I have another question? Oh, I saw Annie there. Okay. The lights flicker and then really flash. It does, unless you have electrical disturbance in the house. <laughs>
Well, you know, ask them to do it. Like somebody was trying to get my attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, pay attention. Whatever you're doing at that time, pay attention to what it is you're doing. Well, that's why it's flashed on that. You're relaxing, but relaxing more than <laughs> Rosalia, I'm going to take it because the 
Rosalia. It's like two names put together there. Um, I just feel like, see your name please, Karen. Karen. I feel like Karen was Rosalia's in spirit world, is that correct? Because I'm seeing her stand behind you in a way that she feels that she's almost like solid. You know, she stands there to me. And she places her hand on your head and she says, now listen, you've got to start working with this. <laughs> you've got to start working with your spirit guides. You've got to get to know them because you've been thinking about this for a long time. And you keep putting it on the back shelf, and it's time to do that now. Now, I feel as if you've been asking the spirit for some help. Lots of it, lots of prayers. And they say, we've got them for you. We, we're helping you. I mean, we've got your prayers, and we're helping you. And you have to be more focused on what you want in life rather than saying, I'm not sure about it. you got to say, definitely so. I want that. I want that in my life. I see something about how, are you using some sort of new creams or something? I say they're good. <laughs> Was that what you said? I don't know. I just talk about the creams. She said they're not dangerous. Whatever the creams are you're using, okay? Is this a grandmother to you? Okay, because she tells me grandmother. All right. Um, I also feel somebody's stepped over to the spirit of the cancer. Who would that be with you? Do you know someone named Brenda? Brenda. Okay, I'm off your vibration and thank you. Anybody else with Brenda? We have a Brenda or B name. Oh boy. B. B on the first part of their name in the spirit world. Don't know who that is. Okay. Um, I'm getting somebody very strong, and I know we have a lot of people these days that are struggling with disease of cancer, but I have someone who's pushing on them. It's a woman who crossed over with breast cancer, and she will not leave me alone, and I don't know her name. Can anyone take that person, please? You again? Pardon? You bred in. And who's yours? Your grandmother. I'm going to go with your grandmother vibration because I feel like your grandmother came through, your grandmother's coming through. And she says, not going to leave me alone. But she also says that you have been doing a lot of good things for yourself here lately. And she's really proud of you. But she says, you've got to remember that life is just fun. It doesn't have to be... Uh, tragedy, it doesn't have to be hard. Make it all fun for yourself. And I see something about how she holds your face. And she says, please, please, know that I love you. I want you to know that. And so she just wants to give you a good pat on the face. And, and she says that you kept, kept close to her when you were a little girl. Does that make sense to you? All right. Um, J, I can see a J name with you. Do you know who that is? J. A J name? J. Somebody's name starts with a J. Don't know who that is. I'll give you, I'll let you think about it. I don't know. Your grandmother's saying that. Um Okay. That's his I mean it's not initial, that is his name. J? Yeah. Well your grandmother said, this is not to to criticize anybody, but she's sure glad you made the decision to go on with your life. Okay? All right. Um, I see something about October being a birthday or a special time for you. Do you know who that is? Um, well, yeah, when I got married. Okay. That was a special time, but. Well, then it was. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. 
All right. Uh, there's a lot of green around you, and that's healing. You're getting a lot of healing here today. I feel like there's not anything I say about your health other than just keep a good watch on it, okay? And you live a whole healthy lifestyle. I feel as if sometimes you have a lot of soreness in your neck or your shoulders. Does that make sense? Okay. And, and you want to do some stretching with that. That always helps. Okay? They're just showing me that. All right? All right. Um, well, I hear that, that just very plain name of Mary. Mary. I'm almost afraid to ask that. Mary. I feel like this is yours. Okay. Mary, because I heard it so clear, and I thought, oh boy, how many people are going to claim Mary? But she does say Mary to me, and she's coming in to say hello to you, and you look so much like someone else I know. I almost thought you were the other person, you know, when I was connected with you a while ago. But anyway, Mary's here, and Mary says that nothing's any better in life than to have a goal. You know, like to have a goal for yourself, that you want to do something special. What is my destiny? Where am I going on this earth plane? And she says, just keep going like you're going. You're doing a good job of it, okay? She wants to say hello to the family. And I also see her handing you roses. Is their birthday or anniversary or something of next month or just past? She's giving you these roses. There's somebody around you who has that. And she shows them to me, okay? Is, is her husband still in the living? Okay. He passed. She talks about being on the earth plane with you and enjoying being with you so much. This is our next Okay, thank you. And she had a, I don't know, did she, was she a little bit plump? She wasn't, she keeps talking about, she didn't like any fat on her, or she felt fat, okay? I don't know what this is about. Okay, all right. Um, but I, You've lost a lot of weight, okay? She keeps talking about losing when you fat on you at all. Okay, all right, well, she's congratulating. That's the rose, and she's congratulating you. That was your goal. All right, now we know. With the lights, I mean, last night, I mean, I was like, okay, somebody's trying to get the picture. Uh huh, uh huh. It was her. It was her. Yeah, pay attention, unless you've got medical problems. I don't think you do. She says she has 
a whole bunch of them with her. You've got a bunch of relatives over here. They're all coming and surrounding you and all saying hello to you. Lots of birthdays, either next month and December, some of these birthdays in December. Thank you. You're welcome in December. Well, thank you.